you hear about the the active targets you hear about all these different things with sonar and everything else but day in day out all over the nation i'm talking about from the great lakes to as far down into florida mexico as you can go and everything the bladed jig is just taking over this is my favorite in my hand it's a thunder cricket it will catch fish it doesn't matter if you're in a stock pond or if you're on a like i said before the great lakes you can catch them anywhere you go with this bait The Thunder Cricket, you cover so much water with it, you can fish it on just dang near any kind of cover. My favorite to fish it over is, is submerged vegetation. That's my favorite. There's little high spots, every one of these little mounds of bushes in here, there's a high spot that those bushes are growing on. And this grass grows right up nearly to it, and then it's kind of the bottom's clean which is the shallow side of the grass, the inside edge of it. And it seems like that's where these fish, instead of way out over it, they seem to be more on the, more on the inside edge of it. Uh, it gives them an ambush point. When I throw a three eighths, I'm throwing it for a couple of different reasons. I'm throwing it if I'm fishing super shallow and if I'm fishing in that four to five foot range and the water's cold. Those are the two times I throw it the most. And if I'm fishing real shallow vegetation and I'm throwing it and I need to keep a bait up high and keep it up over it, but still able to fish it out thoroughly and, and cover water with it, then I throw it at that time period. That's a good one. I'm mainly concentrating in that four foot range with it being water temperatures up, it's post spawn, these fish are more active. I'm throwing a half ounce. Sometimes in this same situation, if I feel like I can get away with it, I'll go up to a five eighths ounce. Just something that I can move pretty fast. And right now, these fish are active. I'm throwing a half ounce. The deeper it gets down to the, down to the you know, cover that you're trying to fish, the heavier I go. I'll throw a five eighths a lot. That way I can, you know, I can fish with that five eighths. I can fish that six to nine, you know, depth pretty comfortably and easy with that thing. And then when I get deeper than that, um, that grass out there in that 10 and 12, sometimes 15, I change to a three quarter ounce. Now, the other two times that a five eighths and a three quarter are my go to or is when in the fall i like to throw a fast moving bait i like to be able to keep it up over up high in the water column and everything cover lots of water with it those fish are feeding real hard that time of the year and the vibrating jig is taking the place of a spinner bait for me by fishing it that way and when i do i fish it in a i, I throw it in a five eighths and a three quarter so those are my really go-to fall baits now. Um, you want a rod that's seven foot, three inch, got a soft tip, but it gets stiff quick. That gives that bait the softness of that tip to get the good vibration out of it. Gives that bait, when a fish bites it, he doesn't feel you. He gives him a chance to load up on it like fishing a crankbait, but yet you've got the power from there down to get a hook in them. I change my gear ratios up on my reels. When it's cold and I'm throwing a vibrating jig, I always try to stay around a, a six, eight to one, something that's slower, something that I don't have to, uh, I don't get too excited because I'm real bad to wind a reel too fast so I go to a 6-8 then as the water warms up I start moving up and I'll go to a 7-5 which is what I'm doing right now and then when I get into that fall deal when I get into burning that bait and keeping that bait up I go to an 8-3 to 1 then the lines I use are usually a 15 or a 17 pound fluorocarbon 
depending on the cover I'm in. Um, I like 15 when I'm in more open water. Um, as always, the, the lighter the line, the, the more vibration, the better the bait's going to work. Uh, if I'm in heavy cover, I'm going to throw 17. That's basically my setup. But the most important thing is how key it is to throw and fish a rod that is designed for this bait. It will help you get a whole lot more hookups, gives that fish the opportunity to get that bait, but you still have the power to put the hook in him. One thing I do 99.9% .9 of the time when I'm throwing a vibrating jig of any kind, just like right now, I'm still winding it over shallow coontail and everything here, but every single time I cast mine, I always let that bait go to the bottom before I ever start it. That way, I'm not having to slow my retrieve down to let it get down there and everything. I can start knowing I started right down on the bottom. I can come to the grass, climb the grass, and stay in contact with everything that way. One of the reasons I like for it to go to the bottom before I start winding it, you can see me popping the rod and everything, and then I'll slow it down after I get it moving when I pop it out of that grass. That's a lot of times, it's a lot like a lipless uh, crankbait fishing one of them those fish when you pop that thing up now that grass as you're winding it just like I was then I popped it out of that grass and as soon as I popped it out that fish got it and that's one of the big deals about grass fishing is uh, with a vibrating jig is getting that reaction by a lot of times a lot of people just think throwing it out there winding it's the is the way to catch them on it but I always want mine to stay in full contact, especially in grass, because uh, just like right there, I hit grass, I had to pop it off and clean it off. And that's 90% of the time, that's when that bite's gonna come when you're in this heavy grass like this, is popping it free, making it jump up out of that grass. And those fish just, they may be following it, but as soon as it does something, you know, crazy like that, that's when they, that's when they, it sets them off. That, that's when you get that bite. You know, whenever you're out there fishing, just always remember, just whatever your cover is, make sure you're throwing the weight to fish it properly. There's plenty to choose from.